Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the character animation pipeline with Relution iClone 7 and also Unreal Engine. Now, some of the tools that you'll be needing to get started with this is iClone 7, which you can get for free for 30 days, Unreal Engine, which is also for free, Quicksilver Bridge, which you could need to get your meta humans and also manage those meta humans. You would also be needing a free copy of iClone Unreal Live Link. And finally, you would need the meta human live link kit. And once you have them installed, create an Unreal Engine project and then fire up your Quicksilver Bridge. Now, once you open up your Quicksilver Bridge, you would notice that right here that we have the MetaHuman presets. And for sure, if this is the first time that you're installing the Quicksilver Bridge and also the Unreal Engine, you need to go over to Edit and go over to where you have Manage Plugins. Now, within your Manage Plugins, you need to make sure that you have your Unreal Engine installed. And I'm just going to go ahead and update mine right now. And of course, you can choose to install for any other 3D app of choice that you will be working with. And once you have that installed and updated, the next thing which you need to do is to download any of the MetaHuman presets that you want to work with, or if you've already created your own MetaHuman preset, you can choose to work with that. And how you can know that you've downloaded one of them is right here. You'd notice that you have a check mark. Now click on any of the models and then you can export it. Now, something else that you need to also know if this is the first time you're using this tool is you need to make sure that you set your export settings. And to do that, go over to edit one more time, go over to export setting and then specify the target tool that you want to export. Now, if you like to export to Maya, Unity, Blender, Houdini, specify that. But for this situation, since we're exporting to Unreal Engine, I'm just going to go ahead and select that. Now, once you have this selected, next thing which you need to do is to select the object and then click on the export button. And this would export it to Unreal Engine. Now, it also makes sense to keep in mind that you need to have an active Unreal Engine project, which you probably might have created previously. And once you have that open, once you click on the export button, it's definitely going to send all of this model properties and everything that has to do with this model over to Unreal Engine. And right here within Unreal Engine, you would notice that we have some plugins that are missing. All you need to do is just enable all of the missing plugins and then hit on the restart button to restart Unreal Engine. And once Unreal Engine is restarted and back again, you need to make sure that you have the Rig Logic plugin enabled and also the iClone Live Link enabled. Now, if you don't have the iClone Live Link, it's quite easy to get it as all you need to do is go over to the marketplace and then simply get the iClone Unreal Live Link for free and also make sure that you have that enabled directly in Unreal Engine. Now, something else which you will need to do is you need to have iClone installed and with this iClone installed, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a simple character. So I'm just going to play with some of the demo characters that exist here. And since the first thing which we would like to test out is how you can work with the facial performance and how you can get like facial animation, then this might just be like the very cool one that we can work with. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and move this around. Let's just simply click on this tiny button and click on face just to make sure that we have it looking directly here. And the next thing is to go all the way back to Unreal Engine, open up the MetaHuman folder, open up Kendra, since that's the name of the character, and you would notice that we have the blueprint of the character right here. Before we start testing out the live link for the facial performance and for other stuff, what we need to do first of all is to go get the iClone MetaHuman live link kit, and you can actually get this for free. And once you get it, you need to copy the contents that exist within the contents folder into the contents folder of your Unreal Engine project. You can go all the way back to Unreal Engine, click on the blueprint of your model, and drop that directly within your viewport or your scene. Press F on the keyboard to frame on your model, and then we can proceed to go in and take a look at how this model actually looks. I think one of the things that we might want to do is to change the lighting so that we can see this a bit more clearer. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right. So this looks really, really cool. Let's also zoom right in a bit just to make sure that we can see this model. And that's it. So how do we now do the live linking for the facial performance? So how you can do that is very simple. Go to your window section, go over to live link. In this case, we already docked this right here. Click on the source button, click on iClone live link and keep the port number the way it is. Click on OK to get this happening. Click on this button and just let the settings be the way they are. Now, if you go back to iClone, you would notice that we already have our models, you know, looking pretty. But then how do we link this? 
click on the plugin, go over to Unreal Live Link, click on Unreal Live Link, and then with the window like this open, you would notice that we have the character name, which is CC3 plus Catherine, which is referencing this model. So if we go right here, you would notice that the name of the model is called Avatar CC3 plus Catherine. And then the next thing you need to do is click on Activate. Now, if you click on the Activate link, go back to Unreal Engine, and you would notice that you have all those things linked up and active. This performance will not work if you don't tell the target model where to read from and for this reason we would need to select the model go over to where we have the default click on this drop down button and select the cc3 Catherine, and also make sure that we have the live link face head turned on and to preview this in action we need to click on the play button just to get this going go all the way to iClone and then make sure you still have this linked turned on and let's duck this to the side go over to the animation section open up the puppet tool which is the face puppet and from this part you will click on preview press the space back button and start moving you would see that we have this so with this here if you like to record your animation maybe some facial animation you can do that if you like to include some other parts like for example the mouth probably want to get rid of these other parts we can press the preview button press the space bar and then we can get these things happening so if you're also excited about making some recordings, you can click on this button to make your recordings, or you can record directly within the Unreal Engine. And this doesn't end here. And for those who like to do some facial performance with their mobile devices, there's also a huge option that you can actually take advantage of that. And also, if you like to make use of the face key to drive some performance or some expressions, you can also use these things right here and tweak these to your liking. So the iClone tool has a whole lot of things that you can take advantage of, especially if you would want to start making some beautiful facial movements and get the most out of it with your characters. But this isn't the only thing that you can do. Now that we've taken a look at how you can drive your facial performance, how can you now drive your full body performance? Now for you to drive your full body performance, remember that folder we downloaded earlier, which is the MetaHuman Live Link Kit, that folder is definitely gonna come in handy. Because if you open up that folder and go all the way back, you would notice that we have the MetaHuman Dummies. Now, this Dummies refers to the hierarchy and also how MetaHumans are being created. Now, if you take a look at your MetaHuman characters, you would notice that they're being created based of gender and also height. And that's why you get to see the tall, the medium, and also the shot. And this is how the iClone avatar files have been created. So just in case you like to retarget your models, you can do this with super ease. Now with this set, let's go in and deactivate this link, close this, expand this, get a brand new scene, make sure that we know what kind of model that we're working with. And of course you can tell what kind of model you're working with because with this folder open, if you go over to female, you would also notice that it's medium. Now the reason why we're checking this is to guide us to know the kind of metahuman dummy that we need to load directly in iClone. And for this, we're going to select the female, medium, normal body, and load this right here. Let's frame on this model, click on this button. No, not frame on that. Let's just simply frame on the entire model and that's it okay go back to unreal engine go over to where you have your main model so let's back off a bit double click on the blueprint and right here you'd notice that we have the event graph but we're simply going to switch over to the viewport and with this here we need to select the body go over to where we have animation mode click on the drop down button select use animation blueprint and then select an animation class remember this model that we loaded in which is female medium normal body that is exactly the same thing that we need to select here. So I'm just gonna type F underscore and then select it from this part. Now, once you have this selected, you can click on compile and also click on save to get this happening. Now, once this is done, the next thing which you need to do is go back to the content section, open up the meta humans, go to the commons, go to female, go to the medium section, medium weight, body, and then you would notice that we have exactly that same animation blueprint that we just looked at. Double click on this animation blueprint to launch this in. And of course you would notice that we have an animation graph right here. So I'm also gonna go ahead and double click on the animation graph and load this in. What we need to do is get a note. So I'm just gonna type in the word live link and what we want to get is a live link pose. So I'm just gonna get that and connect this right here. So let's connect the first one and then the second one and then from here just simply click and promote this to a variable and this is how easy it is and once you're done with this just simply save 
compile and save and that's what you need to do go back to your simple scene as uh, as it is and then you need to go over to the meta human go over to kendra or the name of the file open up the blueprint and go over to the event graph if you don't have the event graph just simply double click on event graph right here and this is going to pop up so once this pops up click on add component and the component which we would like to add is a live link skeletal animation so we'll need this here now once you have this go over to this uh detail section and click on the plus sign to get this one right in so what would happen here is uh, quite easy to understand the body we would like this body to get an animation instance okay at the same time we would like to cast the animation to a particular object so we would need to specify that object which is the model that we have loaded which is the f medium normal animation body and then from here we would need to set certain things so to do this i need to just simply go over and choose to set a live link subject name so i'm just going to go ahead and set a live link subject name of course we're going to get to this and finally click and drag and get a live link setup and the next thing which you need to do make sure you have this connected make sure you also have this one connected which we're going to come back to but then instead of remaking this component click right click duplicate and then change the name from face to body now click on this other section clean this out press the enter key to save that click and drag get linked body and this body is what we're going to link to this part and then we would link the original body finally to the target and that is quite simple so once you have everything set up like this compile and save and of course you can see that we have that animation thing happening minimize this and of course if you already have like a live link you can keep it if you don't you can set up a new one and the next thing you need to do is select the object itself go over to the detail section and you notice that within the default we now have the live link body subject which is more like the source of the animation for the meta human character so what else do we need to do with this here we need to go over to iclone and then click on activate link and once we click on activate link we also need to make sure that we select that link from here which is definitely the f medium body and uh, that is what we have so automatically you would notice that once we have this here we can choose to load in any animation that we want and automatically the meta human is just going to go for it so let's take a look at what we have here i'm just going to click and drag and drop an animation in here and of course you can see that if we proceed to press the playback button for whatever the iclone character actually does you can see that replicate right here with the meta human so you can now choose to retarget and also create facial and full body animation depending on what you want now at any point in time you want to make some more animations you can simply go in drag and drop some more bounces all the way back press the playback button and you can get variations of animation so iclone offers you lots of animation and also offers you access to working with high quality models high quality characters same time you can now transfer those animation and those facial performances over to your meta human characters so it's a synergy of two awesome apps that you would definitely want to employ into your next pipeline so this is more like it for those who like to try this or maybe you want to get started with this links are all going to be in the description so you can check it out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and it's like see you guys again with your tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace